My name is Michael Walker. I'm from Lake Wells, Florida. I currently reside in Arizona. I've been there about 17 years. My name is Nadia Lopez. I'm from Lake Wells, Florida, and I currently live in Arizona. Love is forever. and I grew up in the same city, same town, Lake Wells, Florida, and we have always known of each other, but we officially met at our church. I saw her at church. After church, she was outside. I, uh, I spoke to her. He asked me after church one day, could he kidnap me? And her brother walks up, <laughs> right? And her brother to me, he's the pastor of the church, but to me, he's like a brother to me because he was the guy that would like, when we were in the choir, make sure my shirt was tucked in, make sure my shoes was tied. He was like a big brother to me. We ended up exchanging numbers, we went to dinner. Oh, so he picked me up, we went to Bahama Breeze. Bahama Breeze, that's where we went to dinner. That was our first date. That's where our first date was. And uh, ever since then, just kind of been like inseparable. So that's how we met. She hates the way I drive. Michael's driving is insane. He, he drives safe, but he drives like in and out of the lane. We'll get somewhere, she'll be like, you gonna make me sick. And I'm like, yeah, maybe you should drive. But she is not going to drive. I can tell you that right now. So no, I don't like his driving. I talked to about four or five people that matter to me. Um, talked to my dad, I talked to my brother. Um, he was one of my best men. I talked to Amari, uh, that's one of my close friends. He's also one of my second best men, I have two. I talked to one of my, my cousin, Anthony. And the thing about it is I told my mom about six months after me and Nadia was dating me that I thought that was my wife. I had been calling her dad for like, two weeks, and when I talked to him, he let me know that it would be okay if I married his daughter. The proposal was amazing. I mentioned to Michael that I had never been to Ruth Chris Steakhouse when we were in Arizona, so he said that he was gonna make sure that he takes me there one of our trips to Florida. I set it up at Ruth Chris, right? She, at this time, she had never been to Ruth Chris before. He let me know that he, made reservations and we were gonna go out and enjoy ourselves. So, I go, I get the ring. And I had already been to the restaurant earlier in the day and dropped the ring off. So this was all set up. I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, okay, I can't wait to see what this restaurant is all about. What's the big deal? So we got dressed. So we pull up, valet of course, and we get out and I walk in and I'm like, oh my God, this place is amazing. So we get in, sit down and everything. We're enjoying dinner. When they brought out the dessert, they had a creme brulee, the ring, and will you marry me uh, written in chocolate. So the dessert came out and I was looking at the plate. It was beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So she gotta be a lady, so she's like, I didn't order this. And I'm, so meanwhile, I'm sitting across the other side of the table, and I'm like, I'm waiting for her to look down. So when he points down, she goes. <laughs> and I saw written on the plate was, will you marry me, and this beautiful ring. And I was like, oh my God, my dreams are coming true. So she's sitting there, and I'm like. I knew the answer was yes, but it was kind of hard for it to just come out. So he was like. That's a question. That is the answer. Yes, of course, yes, but I was just like so in shock. I was like in tears. When he gets up every morning, I walk downstairs with him to make sure he has everything that he needs to start his day so that I can, you know, make sure his mood is, he's in a good mood before he starts his day at work. I could tell you everything about you. I could tell you how much I appreciate you making sure I'm dressed for work and out of the house on time. I could tell you how much I appreciate the work you do with the girl. So I just want to tell you that I love you and I appreciate you and uh, for everything that you do. 
from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. When, I, when I'm unable to slow down and focus, it's almost like you grab me and you slow me down and you set me back right to the right speed on the right course. And for that, I love you and I appreciate you. Aww. Michael, I just want you to know that you have been amazing. You have been the best man to me I have ever had and you are a dream come true. You are what I have always dreamed of having. I never in a million years knew that this dream would come true. It's like, it's still like unbelievable to me at times that you are actually who you are to me and to be your wife is everything I have ever needed in my life. I want to thank you so much for completing my life, for being the person that you are to me and my daughter. You are what we have always needed and I want to be everything to you that a wife should be. Close your eyes.